Exodus 18, verse 21, and it reads, Moreover, thou shalt provide out of all the people able men, such as fear the Most High, men of truth, hating covetousness, and place such over them to be rulers of thousands and rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifties and rulers of tens. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, next double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of great millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, forbear. Fear the Lord, the men of the Lord. Are gonna fear Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And the scriptures say, Cursed is he that doeth the work of the Lord deceitfully. That that shows a lack of fear. Guys, guys in the stand for filthy lucre's sake. That shows a lack of fear. Breaking down the scriptures wrong. Lack of fear. I mean. We do what we do, they do what, we, what they do, right? The scriptures say, he that is filthy, let him be filthy still. He that is ignorant, let him be ignorant still. He that is holy, let him be holy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. For behold, I come quickly. Lord, Yahweh Shai is saying this in the book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 11 and 12. Behold, I come quickly and my, ro and my reward is with me. To give every man according as his work shall be. So everyone's going to get a reward. Everybody's going to get a paycheck for what they've been doing. The elect, that paycheck is deliverance, salvation, being beamed up into the chariot, escaping the hell fire. You see, that second death, that lake of fire when the missiles hit. And two thirds of our people, you know what I'm saying? Look, man, that, that reward, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's nuclear fire. Cherry shooting laser beams on them. Just, just straight up judgments, fire. I mean, everything the scriptures say, man. Remember, all these things were created for the wicked. But the hopeful elect men that the Lord set up, look, look, this is for you. Exodus 18 21. Moreover, thou shalt provide out of all the people, able men, out of the Israelites. The Lord's going to set up men to be rulers, not women, men. Only in bizarro world would you set would you set up the weaker vessel, you know what I'm saying? A vessel that's, that's um, pretty much that lives off emotions over the people. That lets you know how bugged the hell out sleazy he is, and his, and his end is near too, all right? His reign of havoc, his reign of T.E. era, you know what I'm saying, is almost over too. But Exodus chapter 18, verse 21, Moreover, thou shalt provide out of all the people, able men, such as fear Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. You know that's the beginning of knowledge. Fearing the God of the Bible, that's the beginning of knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, right? Such as fear the most high men of truth. See, the Lord is establishing men upon the face of the earth that's going to speak the truth according to the Bible. No lie is of the truth, all right? The men of the Lord are not going to be breaking out the scriptures the wrong way. You see, most definitely the men of the Lord are not going to say, oh, yeah, the, um, the Bible is not the words of the Lord, but the words of the Lord are contained in the Bible. No, man. A wicked man, an evil man will say something like that, which the scriptures goes into that too. Evil and wicked men shall wax worse. E, um, wicked men and seducers, warlocks, shall wax worse and worse. That, that's that's what you got on the on these streets. You got a whole lot of warlocks on the streets too, and you got a whole lot of warlocks on the internet streets too, ma making videos, seducing the people. Men of truth hating covetousness. Meaning, the Lord bless them, bless an individual. It doesn't matter who it is. The Lord bless an individual with something. The men of the Lord like yo, that that's your blessing. I got my blessing, that's your blessing, right? We don't want nothing that belongs to somebody, right? And place such over them to be rulers of thousands and rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifties and rulers of tens. And that is being established on the face of the earth now. Men that fear the Lord and the Lord said, when you come to serve me, come to serve me in sincerity and in truth. 
And, and you don't you don't see a whole lot of that going on. But the majority of our people are so blind, they don't know who to follow. The majority of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they don't, they don't know who to follow, man. They're so desperate to follow somebody, they'll follow anybody. They don't care what it looks like. They don't care what it looks like. They don't care what it's saying. They just want to follow somebody. They don't, they don't care if the person is leading them right off the cliff. They, they don't care. As long as they can follow somebody, right? Jeremiah 48 and 10. Curse be he that doeth the work of the Lord. Yeah, how would the was only begotten son? Yeah, how was I deceitfully? You see? Let's get this definition if I can. Let's just get the definition. Curse be he that doeth the curse be he that doeth the work of the Lord deceitfully. In a look, look, in a way that is dishonest. You see? Look, look, because it involves telling lies and making somebody believe things that are not true. Do we not see that going on? Do we not see that going on? Among these Israelite groups, do we not do we not see a whole lot of deceitfulness? The Lord said, curse is he that doeth the work of the Lord deceitfully. Teasing the words of the Lord for some money. Charging people for breakdowns. Charging people for prayer. Charging people, no sense, for, um, for a Hebrew name. The, the husband has to be charged. The wife has to be charged. The baby most definitely has to be charged. Uh, and it's an extra fee. For a Hebrew name? Are, are you serious? For a prayer? Are you serious? This is crazy. Doing the work of the Lord deceitfully. Listen, listen to the definition again. Deceitfully. In a way that is dishonest. You got a whole lot of men out there teaching the words of the Bible. Dishonestly. And my, my phone just chimed in. Look, dishonest because it involves telling lies and making somebody believe things that are not true. Are, are, we, are we not seeing that going? That's plain, that's plain right there. You cannot get no plan of that. And the Lord said, curse is that man that's doing that. Curse is that man that's breaking down the scriptures the wrong way, telling lies, breaking down the scriptures the wrong way, charging people for prayer. The, for, the, the, pray for me, brother. Or that, that'll, that'll be $25. You, you want me to pray for you? Or you can give me a money or you either um, you got a check. If you ain't got a check, I tell you, if you, you got cash, if you ain't got cash, I take a check. If you ain't got no check. Then I take a um, cash app. This girl is crazy. It's madness, man. You, that, that was a heavy definition right there. Jeremiah 48 and 10. But but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. That's why the Lord said he's establishing men that fear him. It ain't enough fear on the earth, but it will be. It will. By golly, it will be. Jeremiah 48 and 10. And it reads, Cursed be he that doeth the work of the Lord deceitfully, breaking down the scriptures the wrong way. Teaching for filthy lucrative sake, right? And cursed be he that keepeth back his sword from blood. When it's time to correct somebody, when it's time to rebuke somebody, they ain't doing it. You see? You got a whole lot of that going on, man. Guys ain't even, it, it can be a guy within their um establishment, within their group, you know what I'm saying? Will break down the scriptures the wrong way, and they won't even correct them, man. What to say, um, riches? Was that riches, blind the eyes? Let's see. I ain't brought this scripture out in a little while, so just bear with me while I look for it. That definition was heavy for deceitful, won't it though? You got a whole lot of that going on. Um, riches, blind the eyes of them. Let's see. Um. Um, I should have been found about now. Presence and gifts. Yeah, that's what it is. Presence and gifts. Bear, bear with me. Presence and gifts. That's what it is. That's what it is. Breaking all the scriptures wrong on purpose. Let's get this. This is, um, Yep. Because it says, cursed be he that, that um, doeth the work of the Lord deceitfully, and cursed be he that keepeth his sword. What, what is your sword? What is our sword? This spiritual sword, this word. 
to keep his, his sword from blood. When, when it's time to correct somebody, when it's time to give the people the truth according to the Bible, you don't you don't do it because you're paid off, right? Because you was in this thing for the wrong thing. You was in it for the money. So Rock chapter 20, verse 29. And this is a warning. Turn back, you Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans that are out there doing that. The Lord's going to make a move on you eventually. So Rock 20 and 29. It reads, presents and gifts, a bag, a big giant bag of money, right? A blank check, right? Presents and gifts. Blind the eyes of the wise. Men that know the truth according to the Bible. They get that money. Then look, they, they're like that. They turn an eye. They turn a blind eye to, to wickedness. Presents and gifts. Blind the eyes of the wise. Just not knowing that the eyes of the Lord, which are the angels, are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Beholding the evil and the good. Everything is being recorded. That's the thing about it, Israel. Everything is being recorded. You see? Like the um, the lesson Elder Apostle Ramla doing right about now, until the pure, all things are pure. But but to him that is non-believing, they're you know saying that there's nothing pure. You see? Just roughly paraphrasing, right? So Rock chapter 20, verse 29, presence and give blind the eyes of the wise and can't and stop his mouth that he cannot reprove. He ain't correcting no more. Got that bag, got that money, he ain't correcting nobody no more. <laughs> and we always bring this out. The scriptures tell you not to cover your head when you when you when you preach. Tells the men not to cover their head when they prophesy, they do it anyway. Cursed be he that doeth the work of the Lord deceitfully. And they teaching this madness. The Lord, the Lord gonna visit you for all that, man. But the first scripture that we brought out is what? The Lord's gonna, gonna set up men that fear him, right? What is that? Second um Second Peter 3. 2, right? Second Peter chapter two, right? I think it is. I'm just flowing in the spirit early in the morning, about to head out and get this daily bread, Lord's willing. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. Yeah, yeah. We 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 read this. Second Peter chapter two verse nine and it reads, "But the Lord Yahweh, through His only begotten Son Yahweh, shall I know of how to deliver the godly out of temptation, meaning deliver them from doing something evil. You see, deliver them from being persuaded and, or lured to do something evil. Right? The Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptation, but to, but and, look, and to reserve the unjust, the unrighteous." Until the day of judgment to be punished. So a whole lot of these Israelite men out here breaking down the scriptures the wrong way. The Lord is reserving them. He's preserving them for that day of wrath, man. When those nuclear missiles come over here, that lake of fire. The majority of them are just being preserved. You you wonder why they've been they, they, they still here? Year after year, year after year, they're still here because they're being preserved. You see? Uh, is that 2 Timothy 3, 2? Let's see. It might be first. Yeah, here it is. 2 Timothy chapter 3. Um, and I, I could read up, no sin, but for process of time. Let's see. We'll start at 13. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. Are we not seeing that? Are, are we not? Are we not seeing? But that's who Israel want, though. That's who Israelites want to follow. Wicked men. They love wicked men. And they see what these guys are doing. They see they wicked as hell. They see what these guys are doing. But they still they know these guys are doing wrong, but they still follow them. But the Lord said the blind, you no know saying gonna lead the blind, and everybody gonna fall into the ditch. And the deceive and the deceiver are here. This is a, the Lord set this up. Somebody got to play that role. We just constantly pray to you. How will Baha Shem Yahweh Shai? He keeps us down that path of righteousness, doing the right thing. And the scriptures go to that. I think it's in the book of Sirach. Somebody could put that up. Just praying to the Lord. No saying, um, order our steps and righteousness. Just roughly paraphrasing. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. They don't even know. They're out there deceiving the people. Just not knowing that they're being deceived the whole time. This is a scary thing that we're involved in, Israel. You see? 
These men are liars. They're, they're deceivers. And look, look, and they don't even know that they're being deceived the whole time. The Lord got a lion spirit, sent a lion spirit on a man. But continue thou in the things which thou has learned to the whole full elect. We know what we was taught. Continue in it. But continue thou in the things which thou has learned and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou has learned them from. That's why we give double honors to the elder apostles slash elder bishops of great millstone and, and the men on down that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. You got guys that come into this thing and like, ain't nobody talking. The Spirit taught me. The Spirit, no, the Lord set forth a man to teach you. Should the Lord power would do nothing, but he revealed his secret into his service. The prophet, the Lord, the Lord, man, it's, it's, the Lord said he's reserving them. You wonder why they're still around. The Lord said, um, because since it gets them, I, I, I want to get that right quick. The first scripture I brought out was, was fear. The Lord is setting up men that fears him, that fears them. I want to get this right quick and close. Like I said, this is going to be something quick too. It won't meant to be nothing long. You just see, you just see just men getting even more evil and evil. You see? Now and then you got guys charging, you know what I'm saying, for prayers. Now, in, in order for um, them to pray for you, you got to send them some money. In order for uh, you to get a Hebrew name, you, you got to give somebody some money. Where, where that at in the scriptures? Freely receive, freely give. Remember? Freely give, freely receive, right? Um, Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 11. And it reads, because sentence against an evil word, and that's evil. Charging people for breakdowns, charging people um for, for he, and my, my pad chimed in and my phone chimed in. Charging people for, for Hebrew names. Charging people to watch your videos, things of that nature. That's evil, man. But because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, right? The Lord didn't make a move on the Lord didn't judge him for that wickedness. Therefore, the heart, meaning the mind of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. They're going to continue to do it because the Lord ain't made a move on them yet. Oh, yeah, you got men saying that you can call the Lord anything, yo play yoga and all this madness, Right? We don't got the name. We'll get it in the kingdom. You got men teaching hell now. You see, you got men teaching that um, um, Israelite man can only have one woman, one wife. When the scriptures say otherwise, remember Isaiah 8 and 20. This is something quick, Israel. Remember Isaiah chapter 8, verse 20. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. But because because sits against an evil word, the Lord didn't judge them. For that madness, they think they're all right. They think they're getting away. You, you, you're not. That's why we got to repent daily. We got to repent daily for our wrongful thoughts, sayings, and doings on uh, for, for the things that we did on this side and our former lives, man. Do it, do it now. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. Don't put it off from day to day. For suddenly, when you least suspect it, suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth and in thy security. Thou shall be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. That's what the Lord is coming with, vengeance. He, he, he said the slain of the Lord shall be many from one end of the earth to the other. And ain't nobody scared. Habakkuk said he heard the words of the Lord. That's what I'm, I'm going to end it off with that. Habakkuk said he heard the words of the Lord. And he was afraid. You see? Therefore, the heart of the sons of men, the mind of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. And though a sinner do evil, meaning wickedness, and a hundred times just over and over, over and over, over and over, and his days be prolonged, he's still here. Just not knowing he's being reserved. Remember, he's being preserved. Remember we read earlier? He's being preserved, right, for that great day, right? Yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Most High, Yahweh, through his only begotten Son, Yahweh. And we got to keep reminding ourselves, it's going to go well with those that fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. Do that which is well pleasing unto Yahweh. By Shemesh. Look, with everything that's going on, splinter cells everywhere, destruction everywhere, chaos everywhere. You see, people are acting, the love of many, is, it was waxing cold. People are more psychotic towards each other. All these deletions and, and guys walking around like ain't nothing going on. You got you got men that know exactly what's happening upon the face that they know who's bringing these judgments and all that. And they still, they still out there rebelling. You know what I'm saying? Rebelling. You see? Still out there breaking out the scriptures the wrong way. And then the devil's getting ready to come with another, um, another concoction pretty much. You see? And they're going to get caught up in it, right? It says, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Most High, which, which fear before him, but it shall not be well with the wicked. Neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth that before the Most High. So you're here one minute, you're gone the next, man. Remember what I read earlier? I, I read, uh, let me see. I read that Jeremiah um, 48 and 10. 
Well, look, woe, well, cursed is he that doeth the work of the Lord deceitfully. Remember that curse, man. You see? And let's get this last one because I got the roll, man. It's going to just roll out. What is it? Three? Fear the Lord. Another lesson on fear. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Another lesson on fearing Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh. You, you, you forgot, you know what I'm saying? That that's the beginning of knowledge. You, you, you keep forgetting that, right? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. You, you're forgetting again. You forgot already, huh? Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 2. O Lord, Yahweh, all caps, the Most High Yahweh, through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus, all right? We got the name, all right? We got the names and we got the proper name in the Hebrew tongue of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, all right? Look, look, and it's all based upon faith. It's all based upon faith. You ain't got to believe it. We ain't, we ain't pulling your arm, we're not pulling your leg. I look, 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 look. In, in a day of vengeance, call on who you believe in. Call on who you believe in when the Lord visits you with these plagues, right? I have heard thy speech and was afraid. I heard thy word and was afraid. Heard men speaking the words of the Lord and was afraid. O Lord, Yahweh, revive thy work in the midst of the years. And in the midst of years, make known. In wrath, remember mercy. Because I don't know if you got the memo. I don't know if you um, got the message. The Lord is coming with wrath, not love. Think not that I'm come to send peace on the earth. I came not to send peace, but destruction. I heard thy speech and I was afraid. Shalom.